What's up, Hasfit Tribe? It's your personal trainer, Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia, and this is a total body strength training workout. Today's routine will require dumbbells. So be sure to have a few pairs of dumbbells on hand so you can switch up the weight as needed. You'll also need either a bench, box, or a step. So have that nearby. If you're ready to go, let's get started. All right, let's get started by warming up our bodies. Our first one is gonna be a squat plus a T rotation, feet or shoulder width apart. We're gonna squat down as deep as we can, and I'm gonna place my left hand on the ground, and then my right straight arm is gonna come up, followed by my eyes. Now, switching opposite side. Now, right hand down to the floor, and turn. Depending on your flexibility level, this might be a challenging one making sure to squat down as far as you can. If you can't get quite as far as we are, that's all right, just do your best. We're just practicing this deep squat, which is a great position to practice even outside of your everyday routines. This one's warming up our lower body as well as our spine and back. Nice and controlled here. Let's do this one for 10 more seconds. Legs are already probably starting to feel it. Oh man, especially when you're staying down in this position. Oh, I know. <laughs> I didn't say today was gonna be an easy routine. For two, one, and zero. We can actually stay down here for the next one. Come down onto your hands in that quadruped position on your hands and knees. We're gonna perform a bird dog next. So I'm gonna take my right hand, bring it to my left knee, and then extend straight up with both my straight arm and my straight leg. Now left hand to my right knee, and again, standing straight back. We're gonna alternate right and left sides here. Now I want you to take that heel and try to drive it through the wall behind you and squeeze that glute up at the top, as well as squeezing your upper back and shoulder of that activated arm. So it's opposite arm and leg working together here, loosening up your whole backside, good one to warm up your back, shoulders, glutes, get those glutes firing before we get into our workout. Not a race, nice and controlled, left to right, for five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, we're gonna come back up to our feet. We're gonna get our heart rate up with this next one, as well as mobilizing our upper and lower bodies. Let's bring our arms together at a 90 degree angle. And at the same time, I'm gonna open my arms and bring my right heel to my right glute. Return back, left heel, and alternate right and left side. This is a chest opener plus a butt kick. Making sure to breathe, getting the heart rate up a little bit on this one. Loosening up our shoulders, our chest. Getting full range of motion here as well as our quads, hip flexors, hamstrings. Just, a, just takes a few short moves to warm up our bodies head to toe here. Before we get into that strength training session, work on getting stronger here. So a little bit of prep work helps ensure, or helps reduce that risk of injury and ensure that we're ready to go. Let's go five, four, three, two, one, zero, loosen it up. You ready to go, Claudia? Oh man, I'm nice and warm. All Let's right. do this. Me too here. All right, we're gonna get started with what's called a tri-set. So we're gonna alternate between three different exercises working complementary muscle groups. First one is gonna be a three-one tempo push-up. I'm gonna perform this one from the floor. And I'm gonna perform this from my box. So the box that you choose is gonna, if, if you are choosing a box, is gonna dictate how hard it is. So hardest is gonna be just 
on the ground. And if you choose a box that's more inclined, it's gonna be easier. A box that's lower, it's gonna be harder. So you decide what the appropriate level is for you. Absolutely, and if this still feels a little too difficult for you, you can always perform this from a countertop or even the wall. So let's move into that 3-1 tempo push-up. We're gonna do 10 repetitions of it. We're gonna lower our bodies in three seconds. One, two, three, and then one second on the way up. So focusing on that eccentric lowering phase, 10 repetitions. Let's do it together, folks. In three, two, one, begin. Control the way down. One, two, three, one second on the way up. Keep your core nice and tight. Don't allow your back to swoop down or have that butt up in the air, but you want a nice flat back on this one. Making sure to bend at those elbows until they get to about a 90 degree angle. Also, if you're having trouble keeping your core engaged, you can squeeze your glutes. Nice little trick as well to keep your core engaged. That's number seven. Three more here. Whatever you do, do not hold your breath. Best to breathe in on the way down and exhale on that push up. Last one right here. And 10. Oh Excellent. my goodness. All right, so next we're gonna <laughs> move into an elevated high plank row. So we're both gonna need our boxes for this one. And we're gonna need one dumbbell as well. And you'll notice on this one, my box is a little bit lower. And I'm gonna maintain the exact same height. I'm gonna go a little heavier on this one for my one dumbbell. We're gonna use this one with this box and post up on one arm in a high plank position. One arm on the box, left arm, stepping back. Abs are tight and engaged. That dumbbell on the spot where I can easily reach it. Core is tight, back is straight. Pull back on that one dumbbell and return. So we're gonna perform this one for 10 repetitions on either side. Now with my box a little lower on this one, it makes it a little harder. And with mine, it's a little higher, so it's gonna be a little easier. Again, it's really gonna depend on the size and height of how difficult you wanna make it. Just make sure whatever you're using is nice and sturdy. That's right. All right, 10 reps on each side. Ready and begin. Full range of motion here, all the way up, all the way down. And you don't have to have your feet all the way together on this one. A little space in your feet will help your balance. Absolutely, look at mine. Nice and spread, just to give myself a nice, balanced base. Pull back from that elbow, not from your hand. Keep that base. Two more. Keep that base arm a little bend in it. Last one, 10. Okay, now if you really want an extra challenge, don't come down in between. If you need the break, take the break. All right, now doing 10 on the opposite side. And begin. Keeping those shoulders nice and square, not rotating as we're pulling our elbow back. Yes, that's something that you gotta fight because natural inclination is to rotate and pull as you do it. If you feel the urge to rotate, then your weight is a little too heavy. That's a great point. You're gonna wanna adjust your weight throughout this workout, depending on how much energy you have as well as your fitness level. Last one right here, and 10. Excellent. All right, so as I mentioned, we have three exercises here. We're alternating between our first superset. That was two, so we have one more. It is a dumbbell, or it's a step up. I'm gonna use a dumbbell. And Claudia is gonna use her body weight. We're gonna switch boxes. Because on this one, actually, it's more difficult to have a higher box than a lower box. So you decide what's appropriate for you today. Um, two dumbbells for me. And no dumbbells for me. I'm just gonna use my body weight, put my hands right here on my hips. We're gonna do one leg at a time eight repetitions on each leg. I'm gonna start with my right leg up in the box. Make sure you place that foot in the center, nice and sturdy. Now I'm gonna stand up, full range of motion, and then control that lowering face. Be a lot easier to go down fast. Eight repetitions, ready, begin, let's go. All the way up, get your balance, breathe. Nice, I like to do almost like a nice little one 1,000 up at the top. Stay stable for the top before you lower. And again, you decide what height of box is appropriate for you, as well as if you want to add weight or if your body weight is more than enough. Three more to go. Make sure that you're not using any momentum from the leg that's dropping down to the ground. 
to bring yourself back up. It's a great point. Don't bounce up with that bottom leg. Last one right here. All right, nice job. Switch legs. Right leg's resting, left leg is gonna work. Ready, and hit it. Exhale as you come up. That's the hardest part of the movement here. That's it. And whenever we're timing our breathing, we wanna exhale on that concentric phase, pushing phase, or often the hardest part of the move. Halfway. Control. Pushing through that mid foot on the step. It's a great one for your whole lower body, as well as working your balance and stability. Last one. And eight. Nice Excellent. work. Excellent. Okay, so I'm gonna set my dumbbells down because we're gonna repeat this superset one more time from the top. That's that right. means that we're moving back into, thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. That means that we're moving back into our three one tempo push ups. Legs are resting, upper body's gonna work. Right into it here, not much downtime in between. A couple big deep breaths. If you need to switch up how high you are, if you're on the ground, etc. Yep. change of variation, that's fine to do so. That first set was a good primer to see where you are. Ready, and begin. One, two, three, up. This really increases the intensity or the difficulty of the push up. And if you're wondering why we're using the incline opposed to doing it from your knees, honestly, it's a, a better progression to try to prime yourself to get down to doing this floor variation. That's right. Halfway mark. This push up is working your chest, triceps, shoulders, as well as your core. And no one, notice today we're focusing on that time <laughs> under tension and this move is accomplishing that. All right, two more to go. A lot of time under tension here as we control that lowering phase. Last one, number 10. You can do it. Excellent. Oh. All oh right, this goodness. is a killer one combined with that oh, man. elevated uh, row that we're getting ready you to do. You are not lying. So right into that elevated row. As a reminder, we're doing 10 on each side. Whew. I'm gonna increase my weight just a tiny bit here. All right, and if you wanna increase, decrease as we go through, feel free to do so as you, you learn what weights for you, especially when you're doing new moves. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's go ahead and get ready, get into that ready position. High plank, abs are tight. Ready, and begin. Breathe. Exhale as you bring that elbow up. Core stays tight and engaged. Let's work on our lats our forearms, our biceps, and of course our abs and core. Don't swing. And do not hold your breath. Two more to go. Squeeze up at the top, last one. All right. Nice work. Again, you decide if you wanna come down in between, if you wanna give it an extra challenge to that core and stay up. Ready, begin. Very good. Full range of motion, all the way up, all the way down. Again, pulling back from that elbow, pretend like you have a string attached to that elbow, and that string is being pulled back. Opposed to pulling back from your hand, which physiologically speaking, engages different muscles. Two more to go. Here we go, last one, folks. Ooh, ah, excellent, all right. Let's give our upper body a break. <laughs> And focus on those legs. We got another oh. set of dumbbell step ups. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. So kind of you. Okay. Again, I'm just sticking with the body weight. So if you want to challenge yourself a little bit, maybe grab a pair of dumbbells or not. That's right. We got eight repetitions on each leg. Let's get that right leg up on our box. And let's do it, folks. That's it. Control the way down. Every repetition is making us that much stronger, getting us that much closer to our goals. That's right. Again, I'm going to remind you, don't use this leg to give yourself the momentum to come back up. Which is really hard to do, because especially when you get tired, you just want to pop back up with that leg. Two more to go. But please resist that temptation. Last one right here. Nice job. All right, switching legs here. Same move. Eight times, and begin. Again, control the way down. 
I'm gonna keep reminding you of that because man, when you get tired, <sighs> you just wanna allow yourself to flop down. At least I do, maybe you don't have that problem. Full range of motion. You got it, come on. Three more. Last three. Feel that time under tension here as you slowly go through the move. Here's your last one. And there you go, that's eight. All right, we've moved our boxes to the side. We're not gonna need them for the rest of today's routine. We're gonna get started with our next superset, alternating between two exercises. We have a lower body and upper body move for you. We're gonna need one dumbbell for the first one. We're gonna do a dumbbell side lunge. The weight that you choose is gonna be dependent on your fitness level. I have my dumbbell in my left hand and I'm gonna step to my right. Taking a big step to my right, dropping as far down as I can. And I'm gonna do about a quarter squat here. And then back up. We're gonna perform eight repetitions to this side and then switch up, perform eight to the other side. Ready and begin. Sitting back, weight in your hips. You wanna keep that foot flat on this one. Don't feel yourself falling back onto your heels or coming forward onto your toes. So go down as far as you can, maintaining that proper form. That's right. I always like to envision myself um, stepping out or going into a squat, just maintaining that mid foot position. It's always great that we train in multiple angles and planes of movement. Two more. And this move really accomplishes that. Last one. And eight. Okay, switching the side that that dumbbell is in. Now I'm gonna step to my left side. Dumbbell is in my right hand. Ready, and begin. So you'll find that actually this one does work both legs, just in a different capacity. That one leg is really more of a total muscle group inclusive exercise. Hamstrings, quadriceps, glutes. Where your opposite leg is really working that quad, but as well as your groin area, your adductor and abductors. Oh man, that's quite a mouthful. It is, especially <laughs> while performing a side lunge. All right, and that's number eight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very good. All right, for this next one, we're gonna need two dumbbells. And I can't stress this enough, you're probably gonna wanna go light. Oh, thank you. For the reminder on that one, we don't need a lot of weight. Yeah. Yeah, slightly heavier. Okay, we're gonna do a dumbbell straight arm reverse fly. Two dumbbells. Feet are almost together, a little bend in our knees. Bend over at a 45 degree angle. Arms are straight here. And now with our straight arms, we're gonna pull back and then control the way down. All the way up, all the way down for 12 reps. Okay, ready? Big deep breath and let's do it. You can keep just a slight bend in those elbows, but that's it. Don't turn it into a row but instead it is a straight up fly using the, your rhomboids, your rear deltoids, traps, all working together to pull those dumbbells back. It's a great one to help improve posture as well as bulletproof those shoulders. That's number seven. And as you've heard me say over and over again today, control that lowering phase so often gets forgotten about. Big deep breath every time. One more to go, right here. You can do it. And there's 12. All right, so for this one, we only have the two exercises in the superset. So we're going back to that side lunge. I'm gonna increase my weight just a tiny bit on this one. All right, and I'm keeping the same weight. So again, as you can see, change it up, whatever works for you today. Good posture, dumbbells in my left hand, stepping to my right, and let's do it. Full range of motion, sitting back. Excellent job, folks. And again, I'm only doing a quarter, so if your mobility is not quite where Coach Kozak is, just do my modify on this one. And if your mobility is better than mine, awesome. <laughs> Feel free to go even deeper. Whew. Feeling it. Inhale down, exhale as you shoot back up. Two more to go. That's it, there's seven. Last one. 
Yeah, nice job, Tribe. Okay. Switch hands. Let's hit up that opposite direction here. Ooh -wee. Give those legs a little shaky poo. All right, let's do it and begin. You can tell you have kids. Shaky poo. <laughs> I know. Everything is a poo and a boo around here. Ah, uh, that's true. We have a, currently have a seven-year-old, a four-year-old, and like what? How old? Is he, Eighteen months? Something like that. Something 18. like that. So yeah, we are busy. If you can't tell. Breathe in on that way down. Inhale. Number six. Exhale. Two more. That's it. Nice work. Come on, right here. Last one. And there's a full range of motion. Oh my goodness. All right. Give those legs a break. I'm going to feel that tomorrow. While we grab our two dumbbells for our dumbbell reverse fly. Straight arm dumbbell Ooh. reverse fly. I definitely dropped my weight on this one. We have 12 repetitions. Feet together. Bend over 45. Arm straight and begin. Now the beauty of doing these supersets is we don't have to take as long of a break in between. So as I mentioned, our legs are breaking, resting right now, and our upper body's working. It allows us to get our heart rate up and be really efficient with our time. Because traditionally speaking, in a strength training workout, you want to have at least 30 to 90 seconds in between each set. Two more to go. Last one. Almost there. Squeeze up at the top. And control. Excellent. Whew. All right. That superset is complete. We're going to move right into our next one. We're going to perform a dumbbell curl with this one. I'm lighten my load up a little bit here. Two dumbbells required. Actually, you're right. I'm going to lighten mine too. I went too light. Whoops. Too light. Too light. <laughs> so we're going to perform a two foot two and one movement here. Thank you for your patience with me as I adjust my dumbbells. We're going to start with a hammer curl. Palms are facing one another all the way up. And once we get to the top, we're going to rotate those palms and then control the way down. So it's a two for one hammer curl plus supinated curl. Palms facing one another, rotate up on the way down. All right, 12 reps. Ready? I'm ready. I'm ready to go. Set. Let's do it. Begin. One, two on the way up, and one 1,000 on the way down. Excellent. So on this one, the reason why we kind of put the two movements into one is because the hammer curl is actually an easier move. And what it does is allows us to use more weight and overload that supinated curl on the way down. So ideally you're using a weight that is too heavy for you to just curl up and down with your palms facing up. So the method behind the, the madness there. Ooh, thank you for that long explanation. <laughs> but you know what? I really do appreciate these explanations. Plus Let's... maybe it'll take your mind off your arms burning. <laughs> this is number nine right here. 12 in total. Feeling those biceps work. Strengthen our grip and forearms. Helping Ooh. us look better in those t-shirts. Right. Because why not, right? Because why not? All right, last one. And 12. Very good. All right, we are going to alternate this again with a lower body move. We're going to do a one and a quarter squat. I'm going to increase my weight since I'm working on my lower body here. You know, I was going to keep the same weight, but I'm feeling, <laughs> feeling good. Why not? Let's push it why a little not? bit. Why not? Why not? Okay, use my legs to pick them up. Again, one and a quarter squat. So we're gonna throw with our feet shoulder apart. Good posture. We're gonna sit back, full range of motion. Feet stay flat. Come all the way up. Now we're gonna do a quarter. Sit back, back up. So that's one repetition. Just like that. We're gonna do it 12 times. We're gonna feel our legs ready and begin all the way down until those thighs at least get to parallel to the floor. Quarter squat, bend the knees and hips back up. You got it. Gonna have to go to your happy place on this one. <laughs> We're gonna get that, that time under tension on our legs here. And then we're gonna get a sneaky arm and shoulder trap exercise from just holding our dumbbells. Spe Ooh. Speaking of dumbbells, if you need to set them down and just use body weight, that's cool too. Or if you have a barbell handy and you want to use a barbell, feel free to do that. That's number six. 
So again, we're gonna Ooh. encourage you to make it your own here. Excellent. Making sure to keep that foot flat throughout. Don't fall back on your heels. Don't fall forward on your toes. Pushing through the midfoot is what we call it. Nice balance. Oh, that's 10. Two oh, more. Almost there, folks. Come on. Last one right here. You got it. You got it. All right. Good, 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 good. Oh, my Give goodness. those legs a break. I'm going to switch up my weight. Go lighter for my curl, especially after just holding on to those dumbbells. So I'm going to lighten it up a little bit from what I had in my first set. Make sure I can get through these next couple of sets. Big, deep breaths. You got it. We're going to do 12 repetitions of this curl. And three, two, one. Let's get it. Hammer curl. Turn. Control. That's it. It's that time of the workout. You got to remind yourself why you hit that play button today. What is it? What are you working towards? What is that goal? What made you show up today? What is your why? We're all going to have a different why. Maybe we want to be there for our families. Maybe we have a friend's wedding coming up. Maybe we just want to feel better, look better. Maybe it's all the above. <laughs> Whatever it is, make sure you focus on it throughout. That why is what's going to get you through when it gets tough. That's right. I love how practical and functional strength training is. I mean, sometimes when you go to the grocery store, you got 20 pounds of groceries you want to haul in in one trip. This is what this workout is for. And you better believe Preparing I'm the type of guy. for life. <laughs> you better believe I'm the type of guy that only wants to take one trip. Okay, last one right here. <laughs> oh, me too. And Nobody has time control. for that. All right, so done with that set. Last set of squats here. Choosing a weight that's appropriate. Maybe heavier, maybe lighter, maybe the same weight. Maybe you're a glutton for punishment and you know, like the way your quads feel when they're screaming at you. Screaming. Screaming. Screaming at you. <laughs> but hey, you're in control. You Ooh. run the show, not your quads. All right, here we go, 12 reps. Ready, and begin. Full range all the way down. Back up, quarter squat. And if you're wondering what the point of this quarter squat is, well, that full range of motion squat really hits your whole lower body, your hamstrings, glutes, quads, but that quarter squat just puts a little extra work on those quadriceps, which is that big thigh muscle in the front of your leg. So it just gives a little extra work, a little extra intensity, switches it up compared to maybe just doing what you've been doing, a normal squat. That's right, a little variety. A little challenge, and we know that that challenge is where change comes from. That's it, that's, that's what eight. we're after. Right here, change. That's why we're doing this. Changing for the better. Moving forward. Two more. So close. Come on, right to the end, Hester Tribe. Last one right here, let's get it. And 12. Nice work, y'all. Nice work out there, Hasfit Tribe. Excellent work, Claudia. Same to you as Ooh. always. Man, you I'm beast. I'm feeling swole after I was that one. just going to say, you <laughs> beasted through that. Nice work. <laughs> <laughs> just joking. All right, everybody. On to our favorite part. The cool down. Hard part is over. Let's relax and do some restoration work for our bodies. We're going to do a downward dog next. Put your hands on the floor. Depending on your flexibility level, you can step up pretty far. You can kind of keep your feet back. We're gonna pull back on your hips. Oh my. Relaxing your shoulders, <laughs> which at this time of the workout is a little more challenging than it would have been 45 sorry. minutes ago. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Are you laughing at yourself over I'm there, Cody? I'm laughing Cody? at myself, yes. Just yes. don't mind me. It's all right, we won't. So you're gonna feel this one in your calves, hamstrings, glutes, shoulders back. Just relax. Nice, big, deep breaths. Allow that heart rate to come down. For five, four, three, two, one. And you can come down to your knees now, slowly, after letting all that blood rush <laughs> to your head. We're gonna do a quadruped rotation. So on my hands and my knees, I'm gonna take my right hand, bring it up to my head, 
Now I'm going to bring my right elbow to my left hand, rotate, and then rotate back up. Keep my eyes on that elbow as I twist, alternating between up and down. Oh, which feels so nice. A lot of work on that core and back today. Oh yeah. This is great for that thoracic spine mobility, which is that mid back. Controlled here, not a race. Focus on bringing that heart rate down. And relax, put that right hand down on the floor, left hand back behind the head. Same move, opposite side now. Left elbow to right hand and rotate. And don't be surprised if one side is a little tighter than the other. And don't be surprised if it starts to feel a little looser as you continue to move through this. Definitely, my first couple were oh, yeah. feeling a little rough, but feeling a little better as I go through it. First one was ugly, which is why I was laughing through my downward dog. Because I was, I was caught off guard by my uh, immobility there. Yeah. And we're not perfect either, folks. We're all here to improve. That's wherever right. you are at, wherever you're starting today, we're all here to improve together. For three, two, one zero all right one more down here from the floor we're gonna lie down on our left side we're gonna do a side lying quad stretch so left hand is out on my side lying on my left side i'm gonna reach back and grab my right ankle pull back on that right ankle keep my right knee in tight to my side and we're just gonna hold here and if you can't quite reach your foot or uh, your your ankle feel free to grab a towel or a band something that you can use to help grab onto that and be sure to try to keep your knee down as close to the other knee as you can that's right we don't want that knee up in the air making sure to breathe don't hold your breath here again getting that heart rate down feeling so good after those one and a quarter squats oh yeah we lit those quads on fire we gotta cool them off here. All right, and relax. Okay, same move. Opposite side now, just go ahead and turn over onto our right side. You can hit up our, will be our, our left quad. And pull back. Oop, move my mic pack here. There we go. And you might notice on for me on this one today, my left leg is not gonna be anywhere near as flexible. My left knee is a little inflamed. Nothing big, just minor injury here, but you can see it's harder for me to get it all the way back. <laughs> Real life, we're here too, folks. You know, we're not- Real life. Not computer animated here. No. We're human beings, flesh and blood, just like you. That's so we're right. gonna go through our ebbs and flows. Probably saw me struggling through those push-ups, but that's okay. Hey, that's all right. We don't make any promises of being perfect. We're just here to work with you. Breathe. Excellent job. Last. Five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Ah, relax. Oh, that felt good on my knee, actually. Oh, man. And we made it, Claudia. We did make it. You can stay down on the ground, but we have yeah, to come back up. Yeah, stay down there, take a nap, whatever. <laughs> Thank you so much for working out with us today. It has been our privilege. Absolutely. And did you know that you can get even faster results by following a complete exercise program? Those programs can be found on the HasFit app to which you can download onto your Apple or Android device, or you can also find them on hasfit.com. You can also help support us by stopping by our store, picking up some gear like a HasFit t-shirt or our diet guide, Eating for Life. Do not forget to like us on your favorite social media channel. Until next time, I'm Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia. And we will see you at your next workout.